الحمد للہ وسلات وسلام رسول الکریم اما بعد آؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ می پیس اینڈ مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹو ڈے مائی ٹاپک از وٹ دا بائبل سیز اباؤٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہیم I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Deuteronomy 18.18 by Sheikh Ahmad Didat Say do you see whether this message be from Allah, God Almighty, and yet you reject it, and a witness from among the children of Israel, bore witness of one like him. Holy Quran 46.10 Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the subject of this evening talk, what the Bible says about Muhammad peace be upon him, will no doubt come as a surprise to many of you because the speaker is a Muslim, me, Sheikh Ahmad Didad. How does it come about that a Muslim happens to be expounding prophecies from the Jews and Christian scriptures? As a young man, about 40 years ago, I attended a series of religious lectures by a Christian theologian, a certain review Hilton at the Theater Royal Durban, Pope or Kissinger. This reverend gentleman was expounding biblical prophecies. He went on to prove that the Christian Bible foretold the rise of Soviet Russia and the lost days. At one stage, he went to the extent of proving that his holy book did not leave even the Pope out of its predictions. He expatiates vigorously in order to convince his audience that the beast 666 mentioned in the book of Revelations, the last book of the New Testament, was the Pope, who was the vicar of Christ on earth. It is not befitting for us Muslims to enter into this controversy between the Roman Catholics and the Protestant. By the way, the latest Christian exposition of the Bees 666 of the Christian Bible is Dr. Henry Kissinger. Christian scholars are ingenious and indefatigable in their efforts to prove their case. The way Hilton lectures let me to ask that if the Bible foretold so many things, not even excluding the Pope and Israel, then surely it must have something to say about the greatest benefactors of mankind, the Holy Prophet Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with him. As a youngster, I set out to search for an answer. I met phrase after priest, attending lectures and read everything that I could let my hands up relating to the field of Bible prophesies. Tonight, I am going to narrate to you one of these interviews with the Domini of the Dutch Reformed Church. Lucky 13. I was invited to the Transvaal to deliver a talk on the occasions of birthday celebration of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Knowing that in that province of the Republic, the African language is widely spoken, even by my own people, I felt that I ought to occur a smarting of this language so as to feel a little at home. With the people, I opened the telephone directory and began phoning. 
the African speaking churches. I indicated my purpose to the priests that I was interested in having a dialogue with them, but they refused my request with a plausible excuse. Number 13 was my lucky number. The 13th call brought me prayer and relief. A Domini Van Hilton agreed to meet me at his home on the Saturday afternoon that I was to leave for dance wall. He received me on his wedding with the friendly welcome. He said that if I did not mind, he would like his father-in-law from the free state a 70 years old man, to join us in the discussion. I did not mind. The three of us settled down in the Domini library. Why nothing? I posed the question. What does the Bible say about Muhammad? Peace be upon him. Without hesitation, he answered, Nothing. I asked, Why nothing? According to your Interpretation, the Bible has so many things to say about the race of Soviet Russia and about the last days and even about the Pope of the Roman Catholics. He said, yes, but there was nothing about Muhammad, this be upon him. I asked again, why nothing? Surely, this man Muhammad, who had been responsible for the bringing into being a worldwide community of millions of believers who on his authority believe in the miraculous birth of Jesus peace be upon him that Jesus peace be upon him is the Messiah that the, he gave life to the dead by God's permission and that he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission surely this book the Bible must have something to say about this great leader of a man who spoke so well of Jesus, peace be upon him, and his mother, Mary, peace be upon them. The old man from the free state replied, My son, I have been reading the Bible for the past 50 years, and if there was any mention of him, I would have known it. Not one by name. I inquired, according to you, are there not hundreds of prophecies regarding the coming of Jesus, peace be upon him, in the Old Testament? The Domini interjected, not hundreds, but thousands. I said, I am not going to dispute the thousands and one prophecies in the Old Testament. Regarding the coming of Jesus, peace be upon him. Because the whole of Muslim world has already accepted him without the testimony of any biblical prophecy. We Muslims have accepted the de facto Jesus, peace be upon him, on the authority of Muhammad alone. And there are in the world today no less than millions followers of Muhammad who love, respect, and reward this great messenger of God, Jesus Christ. Without having the Christian to convince them by means of their biblical dialectics, after of the thousands of prophecies referred to, can you please give me just one single prophecy? where Jesus, peace be upon him, is mentioned by name. The term Messiah, translated as Christ, is not a name but a title. Is there a single prophecy where it says that the name of the Messiah will be Jesus, peace be upon him, and that his mother's name will be Mary, peace be upon her? That his supposed father will be Joseph, the carpenter. That he will be born in the reign of Harij, the king, etc., etc. No, 
there are no such a details then how can you conclude it that those thousands prophesies refer to jesus peace be upon him subhanallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh